Good morning, students. Yesterday we have discussed uh, electromagnetic spectrum and their uses. Today we are going to discuss about the electromagnetic waves. What is electromagnetic waves? Means electromagnetic waves is nothing but uh, uh, non-mechanical wave. And also transfer wave. Induction 
high. When we apply to the induction coil, very high potential difference, positive and negative. For example, we also apply 10,000 volt. Where we are applying induced to the induction coil to the sphere S1 and S2. What are the induced the sphere connected by the plates no? So the current flow through the plates. The plates get the charge. Actually, in between the two plates, that means in the two spheres, some gap is there. Then in that gap, air is there. Due to the air, when the capacitor, due to the capacitor action, they are getting the discharge at that time. Uh, due to the air, it gets ionization. Due to the ionization, the charges are separated into how means positive and the negative charge. Due to the capacitive discharge, the charge in this uh, ionization, they are split into positive and negative charge that we have to see in the special type instruments uh, they produce the spark. If you I, uh, explain to the spark special uh, instrument, uh, maybe any other uh, using uh, microscope. What are the things we are getting this part? The spark is called as electromagnetic wave. This is the way uh, Maxwell proved the, the electromagnetic waves experimentally using Hertz experiment. So once again, the production of elect uh, the experimental setup of uh, electromagnetic waves Maxwell used the Hertz experiment in the year 1888 he used two metal plates one is P1 and the one is P2 the two plates are separated by the small distance and the two plates are connected by the two polysphere sphere one is S1 and the other one is S2 the two plates uh, how much distance is there in 60 cm and the two metal plates uh, acts as a capacitor and the ends of the two spheres, two polysphere spheres, S1 has to be connected by the induction coil. Actually, wire, it is called as induction coil. Now we have to apply very high potential. For example, 10,000 volt to apply through the induction coil, where we apply means to the plates. What are the means? The plates are getting charged. When you stop the potential, what happens due to the capacitor action? The plates are discharging the charge. When there is in between the plates, that means polished spheres, the air is there, so due to the air, the ionization states. Due to the ionization, the charge is separated, positive magnetic charge, that time they produce this spark. We can't able to see in our back dye directly, so we can use a special instrument that is spectrometer or microscope or any other high resolution instruments. We are getting the spark, the spark is known as electromagnetic waves. This is the experimental confirmation of electromagnetic waves. Next, we are going to the properties of electromagnetic waves. This is a very important question, properties of electromagnetic waves. Uh, often and repeatedly asking 5 mark, 1 mark, 2 mark level questions. So properties of electromagnetic waves. So electromagnetic waves produced by at first point, sorry, electromagnetic waves produced by accelerated electric charge. Students, so please uh, take down the notes. Whenever uh, I'll write the uh, points in the board. Second point 
Electromagnetic waves do not need any metal medium propagate through the space. Do not need any material medium. The electro medium propagate through the space. So first point which is the source of uh, electromagnetic waves how, are, how the electromagnetic waves are produced means accidental electric charge after uh, accidental uh, electric charge uh, propagate through the space means they do not need any material medium that is the second point third point electromagnetic waves are transverse in nature so electromagnetic waves in nature and also it is a non mechanical wave so when the electromagnetic waves are non mechanical or transverse waves that means uh, uh, transverse in nature they are uh, oscillating uh, uh, electric and magnetic field vectors oscillating electric and magnetic field vectors uh, to each other how that oscillating means uh, both of them suppose uh, electric field represented by the E vector and magnetic field represented by the B vector they are oscillate after oscillate propagate through the space how they propagate means uh, they are perpendicular to each other I will draw a diagram see I will take three axis one is x axis another one is y axis and the third one is uh, z axis see here this is x axis and we are I consider this is z axis and this is considered Oh yes. Here, here see that the electromagnetic waves are transferred in nature. That means non-mechanical wave. They are oscillating. Oscillating means uh, producing the charge. They are oscillating. How they oscillate means two and four motion. So electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other. See, maybe I will take electric field in the which axis means uh, z axis. Sorry, y axis. Magnetic field in the z axis. See here, this is y axis. So first, I will take electric or magnetic field. So, I will consider this is a magnetic field means V, electric field means E, E vector and B vector. See, see the diagram. Magnetic and electric fields are perpendicular to each other. Next, change in the electric field. Change in the magnetic field. We call it as a variation of the electric and magnetic field. Magnetic, electric, now electric and magnetic field. Both of them, if how they are changed, both magnetic and electric fields are perpendicular. Next, magnetic field, electric field. Now also, the electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other. Like that, when the electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other, uh, they are propagated through the space also. Like that only they are uh, spread out or uh, propagated through the space. This is the third point. Next to fourth point, electromagnetic waves travel with the speed of light. Electromagnetic waves travel with the speed of light. We already knew that uh, number of times in the lower classes, 10th standard itself, we are discussed what is the speed of light means. The speed of light is represented by 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. So, electromagnetic waves also travels at the speed of light. Where they travels means through the free space. We can write the equation C is equal to 1 by root of mu naught. Already in our first lesson, we are uh, explained. I explained what is epsilon zero and mu zero. Once again, I recall that we are uh, epsilon zero, mu zero, epsilon zero, perpendicular of free space.
पर मीन्स यू नो परमेबिलिटी यूजिंग दिस रिलेशन दिस इक्वेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज सो मेनी टाइम्स यूज दिस इक्वेशन दे एस्ड जे नीड एग्जामिनेशन आई विल एक्सप्लेन नेक्स्ट क्लास हाउ दैट क्वेश्चंस आर एस्ड यूजिंग दिस रिलेशन दिस इज फोर्थ पॉइंट नेक्स्ट फिफ्थ पॉइंट Suppose that electromagnetic waves travel with the speed of light in space. Space means we got the equation. Same electromagnetic waves uh, travel with where uh, they means uh, not in the free space in the medium. Got it? The fifth point: electromagnetic waves travels in the medium, not in the free space. What happened? What is the speed of light? Means definitely the speed of electromagnetic waves less than the speed of light. That is a here we represent the speed of the electromagnetic wave. In medium. So now I am going to explain what is the means speed of light in free space. Once again, I write. Then only you will be able to understand that speed of light. in free space so what is that fifth point uh, says that means uh, when the electromagnetic waves travels in the medium what is the uh, speed of uh, what is what happen definitely the speed of electromagnetic waves is less than the speed of uh, electromagnetic waves in the free space we can write the equation v equal to 1 divided by root of mu and epsilon here what is mu What is its law? This is the permeability. This is permeability. Here, medium of permeability. permeability. So, like that, this is medium of permeability. These are the very important topics and the simple explanation. What is that simple denotes that you must learn that. Then only you can able to solve the problems and complete the examination. Uh, otherwise, it is very difficult. So V equal to one divided by root of mu and epsilon. This is fifth point. Next sixth point. So we can find that uh, the ratio of electromagnetic waves. in the medium and free space or the ratio of electromagnetic waves free space to the medium we can represent it as symbol mu equal to electromagnetic waves travel in the free space electromagnetic waves travel in the medium so i want you to write that so you can understand how we see in your book uh, one divided by root of mu not and epsilon not This means the uh, electromagnetic wave travels with the speed of uh, light in free space. Next step, uh, root of mu and epsilon. What this equation indicates means electromagnetic wave travels in the medium. When we derive this equation, solve this equation, we are getting that what we are getting means uh, root of mu r and epsilon. How that mu r and epsilon are directly what it means? Uh, I already explained in the first lesson. So no need to explain. Just I will give the relation. What is the relation? Means mu equal to mu not mu r and epsilon equal to epsilon zero epsilon r. Here, what is mu r and epsilon r? Here, mu and epsilon r permeability of relative permeability. Like that, what is mu r? Relative permeability. So always they will give the what is the relative permeability and what is relative permeability for air means epsilon r mu r equal to one only for air. Suppose that they will give the medium, we can calculate the medium value they will give. Using the relation, we can find the what is the electromagnetic wave speed. 
So once again, uh, we recall that uh, properties of electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves produced by accelerated electric charge. First point. Uh, second point, they do not need any material medium to propagate through the space. So it is considered to be non-mechanical wave. And uh, actually electromagnetic waves are transverse in nature. That means uh, uh, electric and magnetic fields are oscillating uh, through the space and propagate through the space also perpendicular. See the board. And fourth, uh, the speed of light uh, in free space. Uh, actually, we, what is the speed of light? It means 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. So electromagnetic waves travel in the space. Uh, free space means we are uh, right the equation C is equal to 1 divided by root of mu0 epsilon 0. Here mu0 permeability of free space, epsilon 0 permeability of free space. And fifth point, when the electromagnetic waves tra uh, travel in the medium, medium means any medium, maybe that is uh, oil medium, glass medium, or any medium. So uh, what happens in the electromagnetic wave speed is less than the uh, free space. So uh, we can write the equation V is equal to 1 by root of mu into epsilon. Mu means medium of permeability, epsilon means medium of. So here is the sixth point. When the, we have to find the ratio between uh, speed of electromagnetic waves in the free space, electromagnetic travel in the medium. So we are getting the equation mu is equal to mu r and epsilon r. Here mu r is getting relative permeability and epsilon r is getting relative permeability. Both relative permeability and relative permeability for air, the value is 1. Next, seventh point will learn. Electromagnetic waves are not deflected by electric and magnetic fields. Electromagnetic sub point. Electro short form electromagnetic waves not deflected. Both electric and magnetic field. Because electromagnetic waves are charges. That's why electromagnetic waves are not deflected by both electric and magnetic field. Electromagnetic waves carry not only energy and carries momentum. This is very important point. This year, last two previous year, there is uh, no, uh, this point is not there. The new book, the point added, electromagnetic waves not only uh, carries electromagnetic waves, not only carries uh, energy, it, uh, it carries momentum and angular momentum. So direct question they will ask in the one mark level or other uh, TNPC uh, central board examination electromagnetic waves carries only energy not only carries only energy it carries momentum and angular momentum. What is momentum? What is angular momentum? Means see that momentum represent P is equal to MV. Angular momentum represent Next step, 1 by 2 mu naught b square, b 
This equation represents energy density of magnetic field. Any doubt? If you have doubt, please ask that. 1 by 2 epsilon 0 e square. This is energy density of electric field. Why we are using energy density means we can find the energy density of the electromagnetic wave. This is common equation. In I box now, that is a common equation. In the common equation, where the separate, uh, we can explain separate terms so we can uh, uh, learn that. So 1 by 2 epsilon 0 is energy density of electric field and energy density of magnetic field. So ninth point. These are very important questions. All the points, uh, they will ask uh, any uh, one mark. This is a repeated question area. So don't hesitate. Next, the energy density of the electromagnetic waves. 9th point, 10th point. Energy as an average energy density. So this is short form EMW means electromagnetic waves. We can write that average U in the energy density. Uh, what is this mean? It means an average energy of electromagnetic waves equal to 1 by 2 epsilon e square equal to 1 by 2 u naught d square. This is average energy density of electromagnetic waves. We already discussed what is energy density. Now, how to find out average energy density using this equation? Average energy density equal to 1 by 2 epsilon 0 e e square, 1 by 2 mu 0 d square. Next is intensity of electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves. The intensity of electromagnetic waves represented by I, that means equal to intensity of electromagnetic waves is equal to average energy density with the velocity of light or the intensity of electromagnetic waves is the ratio of total electromagnetic total electromagnetic energy we are representing the U and surface area into time. The ratio of total electromagnetic energy to the surface area into time is known as the intensity of the electromagnetic wave. So in this equation we can write that power by surface area because energy by time is considered to be power. That's why the total energy is by time is represented by power and the surface area. So, intensity is represented by power by surface area. Next, very important point, uh, studying point, pointing vector. What is the use of pointing vector? Why I call the this very important is pointing vector denotes the electromagnetic waves propagate through one point to reach other point, point to point, identify. So you, we need definitely pointing vector. The definition of pointing vector, the rate of flow of energy crossing per unit, the rate of flow of energy crossing unit area. So we can write two more level also and one more level and important uh, repeated points. So the rate of flow of energy crossing unit area. A unit area means given uh, one, uh, one unit that is known as a uh, unit area. So we can represent point in vector symbol S vector. It is known as pointing vector. We can write the equation S vector equal to 1 by mu naught E vector into B vector. 
Electric field and magnetic field. R C square is equal to zero. E vector into magnetic field. This is pointing vector. So you got it all the points totally. Thirty uh, maximum fifteen points are there. Here I explain thirteen points. Remaining two points I explain next class because uh, that is very difficult to explain. So whenever uh, uh, that point uh, next class I will explain. Whenever that point new I will explain. So already we have discussed uh, five point. This one is uh, six points. Seven point points I will recall. Electromagnetic field is not deflected by both electric and magnetic field because uh, electromagnetic fields are charges. And uh, electromagnetic waves uh, not only carry energy, it carry momentum and angular momentum. And ninth point where the energy density of the electromagnetic waves represents the symbol U, one by two epsilon zero e square plus one by two mu zero e square. Here, the, this is common equation. Suppose we can uh, explain uh, or uh, learn that separate term one by two epsilon zero e square energy density of uh, electric field. 1 by 2 mu 0 p square energy density of magnetic field. This is repeated uh, question. They will give the value to find the energy density. They will give epsilon zero value. Epsilon zero value is constant. What is the epsilon zero value? 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12. And E. They will give the electric field. Suppose they give the electric field E is equal to 10 volt per meter. And mu zero value also constant. What is the mu zero value? Means mu zero equal to four pi e to the power of pi seven every per meter. And they will give the magnetic field. Magnetic field they will give is equal to hundred. To calculate the energy density, so we can use the formula and we will calculate. You will try in your own. This is the problem. They will give the electric field and magnetic field. Find the energy density. Okay. Always to find the energy density of electric field alone. But to find the energy density. You will try in your home. So I get the magnetic field value is la, and the electric field value 10 volt per meter. Next 10 point the average energy density. To find the average energy density means uh, the symbol of uh, average energy density equal to 1 by 2 is la to the e square equal to 1 by 2 mu naught b square. What is the difference? Both equations are same. See here, but uh, here. The average density is the one by two mu naught in the numerator. So here, in this equation, one by two mu naught in the denominator. That is the difference. So next, intensity of electromagnetic wave. Commonly, intensity is represented by symbol I. Here, intensity of electromagnetic wave will be average energy density into the speed of light. So in definition, intensity of the ratio of the total electromagnetic energy to the surface area at the time. Here, energy by time. Equal to power. That's why energy is an expectation power by surface area. Next, pointing vector. This pointing vector, defined pointing vector, the rate of flow of energy crossing unit area is known as the pointing vector. What is the use for pointing vector? Means the propagation of electromagnetic waves move from one point to another point, starting point to ending point. That's why you need pointing vector. The pointing vector. Uh, the symbol S vector equal to e to the one by mu naught electric and magnetic field equal to c square epsilon zero e vector into e vector. These all the equations are very important. Using these equations, uh, the last uh, number of questions uh, in our uh, computer exam, not only computer exam, JE, NEET. These are uh, these topics they will ask uh, direct questions. Okay, got it?